I, I think that uh, academic staff should be mindful, and I'm saying should be, how shall I say, facilitated to be mindful that mature age students have their own particular needs. We're not children, we have a lot of experience, some of us are graduates and postgraduates and whatnot, um, and we somehow have to do some of those undergraduate units again, and uh, therefore we have to fit into the, the student body. And I, I think to be mindful of them and to, or of us, and to cater for our needs, but also to be mindful that there are some, as I had one in last year, who tried to dominate all the time and argue with the lecturer and somehow curtail that because it's depriving the brand new students who come out of school. I didn't take a, a, a high profile in tutorials and I encouraged the young ones to. So I, I think somehow as, a, as an academic, perhaps if you could balance it out and encourage those who had less experience and perhaps um, those who want to take over mature age students to cater for them, but also to say, well, you know, other people, you know, need to be approached. You know. But but to be aware that you know, in this day and age, there are so many. There's a preponderance of, of mature age students coming into universities, and they have every right to be here too. I know a lot of young people sort of be to the fact, you know, what are you doing here? You know, you should be dead or you should be retired. Or or a, lot of people, a lot of people sort of sort of come up to me and say, oh, professor, you know. And I, I sort of laugh at that, but, but um, they don't know how to approach us. And I think maybe the lecturers could do something to, to ease that, that situation. It's a very real situation. I had about three or four or five maturity students and we all sort of sat together, you know. Although I did make a lot of approaches to younger people and encourage them to you know, have conversations, have coffee together and things, but not all mature students can do that. Especially men sort of in their 50s and 60s, you know, a lot of men, I'm saying, who haven't had a university experience before. Thank you. Uh, I'd say from the outset, be clear, concise, and... Um, don't do that. Uh, be clear, concise, and ensure that students know what's expected of them in lectures, tutorials, and assessment tasks, not only by sort of stating what needs to be done, but reference where that information can be found. So in your first lecture, pull out the unit guide and go, right, so on page three, these are your assessment tasks. These are what they are worth, and this is what you need to do in order to get good marks. And as long as they know that, then when they turn around and go, oh, I didn't know it was due this week, you can go, but if you went back to the first lecture, I said that it was due here, I said exactly where to find the information, and you really should have no excuse for not going on to my lecture and listening to that, because you didn't show up, so. Just one very quick point, that uh, a lot of us mature students haven't got a clue about computers, and it's a very steep learning curve. And uh, a, a lot of academic staff that I've come across sort of aren't aware of that, and somehow, you know, you should be conversant. Uh, and it, it's quite a nightmare. I dropped out of Macquarie University four years ago because of my computer, but I came back with a vengeance. <laughs> but, but there are people like that that, you know, I would like to see that you could be very mindful of and perhaps encourage and not treat them like idiots because they, they're asking a question how do I do this or how do I do that? I think um, the most important thing, look, uh, like thinking back about all of the units and especially all of the tutors that I really enjoyed um, yeah, working with or yeah, working in that class, um, was there, like the common thread was that they were all really approachable, they were all really friendly and they all tried to get to know a little bit about their students. So, asking them also questions about yeah, other stuff that wasn't strictly uni related, like where are you working, like that kind of stuff. And also giving a little bit about themselves away as well. Like not just I'm your lecturer, I'm, you know, boxed up in a little world, but you know, I'm actually a person as well. And just to talk about um, like I learned a lot about some of my tutors, like where they were from and um, yeah, what even like what uni they've studied that and stuff like that, which just made, helped make them more approachable, more human, and yeah, just made kind of more happy to, yeah, being in that class, I guess.